All right, happy Monday. Welcome to Family Devotions with Chestnut Mountain Church. Uh, we are walking through 1 Corinthians now in our In the Word series. And today we're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. If you have your Bible, go grab it. If you use your iPad or your phone, I don't really care as long as the Word of God is out and you have a pen or a photographic memory because God is going to teach us something today. I'm believing that. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. And I, that's Paul writing, when I came to you, brothers, brothers, sisters, Christians, believers, that's what that means there. And I, Paul, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. If you, if you like to highlight or underline in your Bible, I want you to focus on a couple of things really quick before we move forward. Proclaiming, underline, highlight, circle, proclaiming. The testimony of God, highlight that. That's very important. And the third thing I want you to highlight or underline is decided. Verse two, for I decided. Say it with me. Yeah, whatever. Underline, circle, highlight, decided. We're gonna come back to that. That is incredible and incredibly important. First thought I want to break out to you from these two verses. Challenging thought, and it's really a question. Are we proclaiming the testimony of God? And further than that, I've been thinking about this. What, what am I proclaiming? Because every day we're proclaiming something. Brand names that we wear on our shirts or uh, bumper stickers on our cars or what are we proclaiming what are we saying to the world what are we what's the message that we're putting off and are we proclaiming the testimony of God Paul says in verse 1 chapter 2 I didn't come to you proclaiming the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom so the first thought is what are you proclaiming what are you proclaiming on Instagram, at home, at the store, throughout your daily life? What are you proclaiming? Paul says, I came to proclaim the testimony of God. But he says something deeper than that too. And that leads me to my second thought. My second thought is humility is a choice. Humility is a decision. Paul says, I didn't come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Is Paul saying I didn't know anything else? No, because we know that Paul was a scholar, very well educated, understood the Greek language really, really well. And he could have come in with lofty speech and wisdom like he's talking about. He could have sugarcoated it. He could have made it perfect in a little bow, packaged it up and handed it to the people. But he chose, he decided to preach Christ and him crucified. Why? Why did he do that? Why did you decide to go about it this way, Paul? Paul says, I made the decision not to build my own brand, not to build my own voice, not to focus on myself so that others could praise me and my abilities. Paul says, I chose to preach Christ and him crucified and know only that among you. I just want you to know, Paul says, that Jesus and him crucified is all you need to know. <laughs> Paul says, I got to keep it real simple for myself and for you lest we get caught up with thinking that this has anything to do with my ability to preach to you. Lest we get caught up with any idea or any inkling that this has anything to do with my ability, with man's ability. This is the first place I think we go wrong as a church because we think that there's only one or two people in the church that can share the good news of Jesus. That's not the truth. That's not the way. We got to simplify it. We got to get back to the basics and the reality that the power of God is bigger than anything that we could muster or manufacture. And the power of his word and his testimony, 
which is Christ and him crucified and him risen on the third day. Hello, we're headed into Easter where we get to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's the hope of the Christian. You don't need a degree to go outside. Be careful where you go right now, but to go out and to proclaim this truth. That's what we mean when we say saturate the world with the good news. To saturate the world. That's our mission. That's our purpose at Chester Mountain Church, to saturate the world with the good news of Jesus Christ. That's what we mean. Saturate yourself with the truth and the knowledge of Jesus and him crucified and him risen from the dead and him alive forevermore and take that message to the world. Proclaim it in everything that you have, not just in word, but also in deed. Model it to the world. But every time you open your mouth, if you have saturated yourself with him and him alone, like Paul says, I chose to know nothing among you except for Christ and him crucified. If you choose that path, the only thing that's going to come out of you is the hope of Jesus and his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Paul proclaimed the testimony of God simply and accurately so that the Corinthians would put their faith in Christ rather than putting their faith in man. That should be our goal. And the truth is, in conclusion, the truth is the power of this testimony is immeasurable. We can't strategize enough. We can't put it in front of lights enough. We can't build a platform high enough to come close to what this testimony of God can accomplish on its own. Let's proclaim it, people. There's no greater time than now.